Zoe Home Inspired Living. I'm Rina. First of all, I would like to apologize for the delay of the part two of our home tour, which is the upstairs. Um, I know that I mentioned in the very first video that it will be shown on the next video, but um, something happened. My kids and I have decided to put an accent wall in every bedroom. That's why we are all um, ordering special. special wallpaper for the purpose. And the process is not really that simple uh, because we are ordering the wallpaper from abroad and it's customized. So we are working on that right now. Um, so for now, um, we are going to do something um, also special for all of you and I hope that you will enjoy. I'm in our reading nook right now which is my designated um, studio also because there's no other room for me to set up my painting. Um, today we are going to paint something special. So here I am um, sitting here in a reading nook and this is my view. It is very bright here in this area of the house and the view is really stunning. I hope to be able to create something beautiful um, this time. Okay. I'm going to paint a bag. Okay, um, and this is the bag that I'm going to paint. And then after that, I'm going to give it away. I started painting in watercolor in 2015 following a, a long season, a very long season of hard sickness and suffering. So hard that I despaired of life every day. Every day there was a threat of, um, you know, being the end. But the Lord Jesus had mercy upon me and that was... Uh, middle of 2015 because it started um, late 2014 and at the middle of 2015 I started to recover and regain strength but not fully um, and so while I was waiting for recovery I was inspired to paint in watercolor now my experience of painting was when I was in grade school, you know, the projects were grade one or grade two. But I had watched my, my father paint in almost all mediums. Um, but his favorite was um, oil on canvas. So I had watched him do it. He was a, um, a fine artist. And so when I finally decided to um, double into painting as well with watercolors, I ordered my very first set from Amazon. Um, I forget the, the, the name. But so I started that was uh, July of 2015. And every day I painted. And then so I improved my craft. And I was able to paint even on large formats. And I'm going to show you my um, past works.
brought me so much joy even though I wasn't able to go out because of my illness and disability um, painting every day brought me so much inspiration and, in, and um, courage to face another day and so on so um, even though my family would go to outings um, whole day of outing to the beach or which I arranged and I would be left behind I was happy I was contented because uh, I had painting to look forward to to spend the day on and then I I started to see um, artists a few of them local artists uh, who painted on bags and I have one, someone who I admire, who is a medical doctor but turned to a painting as a, her full profession. And she started to paint bags. Uh, and I so admired her work that I decided to paint bags as well, but I wouldn't dare. I thought it was really, really hard because I haven't tried painting with acrylics um, before I was all only using watercolor but in 2016 late 2016 I ordered so many bags online um, mostly mango bags and I started to paint bags and even the very first one that I painted my, my sister from America wanted it and that was the very start all the bags that I painted were sold and some I gave away and they were they were shipped to America some to Paris and also to countries here in Asia after a very long time of not um, being able to paint bags because uh, I got so busy with a lot of things like sewing which I am excited uh, about also uh, and also um, tending the family and our home the move here in our new home and also my online home decor business but now because I I am so inspired by this YouTube thing uh, making these videos with you I am going to paint this bag and then I will give it away I hope you would like it and I, I hope that you will join me as I paint this bag so I already chose the uh, what I'm going to paint uh, on this bag and it will be blush roses like um, peachy um, light pink roses on this bag so let's get started. I have quite a complete set of Angelus leather paint. Yes, but I prefer to use my Golden Open paints. The colors of these paints, acrylic paints, um, are the same with watercolor. The names are the same with watercolor. And so I'm so used to it. And these paints are very versatile uh, on any material. And um, it's so very easy to use, unlike the Angelus. Um, it's, the, the colors are quite limited. And it's very um, easy to dry. While the Golden Open is not, it's, um, not, it's not quick drying. So it is very easy to blend and to paint in peace without rushing. So, I'm going to use this um, paints. My favorite of all is this magenta. Okay, so these are my things, my brushes, and the water, the medium, and my palette. And then I use this pen, acrylic pen, for sketching um, the one that I'm going to paint.
going to give it away it's just simple to enter my giveaway um, one you must be a subscriber to my channel so if you haven't subscribed yet you can just go and do it and then um, leave a comment down below so that I will be able to count you in it will take for um, about six days uh, for the giveaway to run and then on next video I'm going to announce the winner I hope that you enjoyed this video and I also hope that you are going to join my giveaway thank you and God bless